palette. So in this tutorial, we're gonna be working with open subdivision. So for this lesson, we're gonna be making that object here. I started with a simple uh, cylinder where I went to delete the top and the bottom. And uh, then I pulled that with the grid scale function in Blender. What I did as well, I flipped my object uh, a little bit on the axis while being in object mode just to know to delete 50% uh, of my object and duplicate the rest on uh, x axis. So, um, open subdivision is not that difficult to work with and it's quite common in 3D modeling. So I duplicate my object here in order to make my object face the opposite direction and adjust my position from right view. I set up the 90 degrees value on the x-axis and I yeah, duplicate that as well, 180 degrees on the z-axis. So after that I had to join them together by the join function. I did select the borders and break them together and after that I had to adjust my twist option or twist parameter so what I get here I get a flattened bridge with a little bit twisted on the side so that's the shape here and I started with something 8 on the subdivision I tweak the uh, into action as well to linear. So what I got to get that object here and I started to edit the circles here. So what I did, I selected them, uh, all the faces here on the left side, and I had to insert that part and then I had uh, to delete them. So I went to select the borders and to sort them and scale them down. So just my position here, scale them down a little bit more on my axis uh, to overlap them completely. And I had as well to switch them once more while scaling them down on my axis, giving them some depth. So uh, for that I had to get them more extrude and scale them down to overlap them from right view. And the last step is to bridge the edge loops. An open subdivision in Blender without that requirement, as in Max or Maya. And so for this lesson purpose, we just done um, some basic modeling. I had to connect, of course, the borders one by one, and I had to adjust my metal loop. So I started as well working on the uh, second piece. I'm going to say the same uh, selection here, selected them all manually, but this time I used different technique where I uh, extruded the faces along the arms, first inserted the uh, faces by eye key, and then I had to right click and extrude face along the arms just to give them some depth. And once more, I had to insert them. And I had to scale them manually with my S key. Now I match my height again from right view while being on right from mode, just because sometimes, you know, when you scale uh, the uh, faces, Blender doesn't recognize that and it's gonna get an issue. Where I had look at these edge loops here at the middle, and I had to press them. I tried to, by the way, move them by distance, but it went bad because that loop in the corner, in the right hand corner, it went too bad, so I had to break them and adjust my twist option. Now I scaled them up here and I had a loop in the center, and last thing last, I had to support these bad guys here. So, what I did as well, I had to add two loops at the top, at the bottom, and one in the middle. Last thing last, I had successfully completed my model and I had to apply subdivision to get 
the ultimate smoothness. I give that two subdivision and I shader smooth that as well. And yeah, what well, the result here? Of course, I I wouldn't recommend to leave that like this. So I want to give that simple material and make that more metallic. I'm gonna be ending up my tutorial here. And uh, if you want more tutorials like this, feel free to leave a comment below this video here. If you have any further questions, don't forget to drop them in the comment section. I wish you an amazing day.